The primary cause of failure in a DriveMaster fan clutch is pulley bearing failure. These pulley bearings have historically failed at a higher than acceptable rate. There have been many attempts to improve the quality of these pulley bearings. The competition has changed bearing manufacturers, changed bearing grease, changed bearing seals, improved the match and ground process, increased the number of rolling elements, changed the bearing design to a double row angular contact or DRAC, changed the bearing design to a longer DRAC. While these various modifications to the pulley bearings have improved the quality of the fan clutch and reduced premature failures, at Kitmasters we believe that the bearings themselves are not the real problem. Kitmasters believes that the real source of premature failure in the spring engaged fan clutch design is torque. Torque in a fan clutch is defined as the fan clutch's ability to engage the fan blade and sustain the engagement until the engine temperature returns to normal levels. Every fan blade requires a certain amount of torque, and every fan clutch produces a certain amount of torque. The first OEM fan clutch design advertised 2100 inch-pounds of torque. At the time that this fan clutch was designed, the biggest fan blade in our industry was a 9-blade 28-inch fan. This fan blade, spinning at maximum normal RPM, required less than 2100 inch-pounds of torque, so the fan clutch was adequately designed for the application. Unfortunately, diesel emissions requirements happened around the same time. As the emissions requirements came into effect, the engines began to run hotter. The hotter running engines required more aggressive cooling packages. More aggressive cooling packages meant bigger fan blades. The industry moved from a 9-blade 28-inch fan to a 9-blade 30, to a 9-blade 32, to an 11-blade 30, to an 11-blade 32, to an 11-blade 34, and to an 11-blade 36-inch fan. As fan blades increase in diameter, pitch, the number of blades, RPM, and so on, the torque required by these fan blades also increases. Basically, the bigger the fan blade and the faster it spins, the more torque it requires. An 11-blade 32-inch fan spinning at 2,000 RPMs requires about 2,400 inch-pounds of torque. An 11-blade 34-inch fan requires about 2,600 inch-pounds of torque and an 11-blade 36-inch fan requires about 2,800 inch-pounds of torque. In these examples, you can see that certain fan blades exceed the highest possible torque produced by the OEM fan clutch. What happens when a fan clutch engages is it slips a little bit and then it holds. But as the RPMs increase, the fan blade has a thrust factor, just like an airplane propeller. It wants to pull away from the fan clutch. So, as the RPMs increase and the thrust factor increases, the fan blade begins to pull the fan plate away from the friction material, decreasing the amount of torque that the fan clutch is producing. When this happens, the fan clutch begins to slip. What happens when a fan clutch slips? It causes massive internal heat. What does massive internal heat cause? Bearing failure. Lack of torque is the problem. To compensate for this, the OEM has modified the design to increase the spring pressure slightly, which increases the torque to 2400 inch-pounds. Along with the various bearing improvements, this has helped to reduce premature failures. Kitmasters also believes that increasing the torque produced by the fan clutch is a key ingredient to solving the problem of premature failure. The following demonstration will illustrate the torque produced by the OEM fan clutch and the gold top fan clutch. What we have here is the current OEM design. It's engaged with all of its spring pressure and all of the holding power of its friction material. What we'll do is simulate the fan blade at high RPM and force the fan clutch to slip and this meter will read out in inch pounds how much torque the fan clutch produced. As you can see, the OEM clutch produced just over 2,400 inch-pounds of torque. When you install the Gold Top Rebuild Kit, here's what happens.
5,258 pounds. When you install the Gold Top Rebuild Kit, you upgrade from 2,400 inch-pounds of torque to over 5,000 inch-pounds of torque. Now, even when you apply the effective fan thrust, you have a fan clutch that is more than capable of handling any fan blade that exists in our industry. The Gold Top Rebuild Kit from Kitmasters is your solution to premature fan clutch failures.